Hello everyone and welcome to Super, Qua uh, Super Crawl 2023. We're down here on James Street right across from the historic Lister Block. I'm Mike Fortune from THN. Of course, Val Cole from Hamilton Live. Val, how you doing today? I'm so good and I'm so happy that we're doing this again because Super Exciting. Crawl went away. Yep. As it did, as everything did. Yep. And now it's back and it's awesome. It's back. It's bigger than it's ever been. Uh, I've been coming. I think it's been going on for about 15 years now. I've been going on for, I've been coming down here with my wife and kids. And this, this event has just gotten bigger. The food trucks, there's more food trucks, there's oh, more yeah. food. The bands. I know. Lots of music. You I like know. music, I hope. I love music. And we're going to be talking to all kinds of bands. We're actually going to be introing some of them on stage. We're yeah. What night are you working? Are you working the Saturday, Saturday night? night? Yeah, yeah I'm Saturday, Saturday day, night. so our paths might cross. But it should be fun. Uh, lots of food and lots of art. This is yeah. a great opportunity for artists to exhibit their street art, their art galleries, whatever you got here. So come on down to Supercall. And you that's might even what see I Valentine. love about Hamilton. Yeah, it's yeah. so darn arty. Exactly, exactly. We talked about music yep. and musicians. Guess what? we got a musician right next to us. Perfect timing. We're, we're, we're going to be bringing him in right now. Uh, Brendan Canning. Brendan, nice to see you. you got Herbie there as I well. I do. i got uh, Herbie Hancock Jr. Just, uh, oh, yeah. I like that, eh? <laughs> That's his name, yeah. Herbie Hancock Jr. Yeah. So, so what, what brings you to Hamilton this uh, weekend, my friend? Third super crawl for <laughs> Broken Social Scene. Yeah. Uh, delighted to be here. You Always. guys were here for a super crawl in 2011 and then 2018. Oh, someone has done their fact checking. That's right. Well, and nice. Was she right? Was she correct? She was correct. Okay, she was correct. Uh, How many people are going to be performing on stage with you? I think we cap out at 10 or 11. Oh, so you got a big band then. But it's yeah. not the biggest. The biggest it was has been was been uh, 19, I, right? I don't know. Yeah. I, you I, lose I, track I, after I, all these years. You know. When it's 17 or 19, I mean, does it really matter that uh, much? Aside from Tim Potisic or, or one of the board members calling you and maybe get, putting a few bucks in your po uh, pocket for this type of an event, uh -huh. what is it that draws you to want to come here and to be part of this uh, big big event? Uh, it's just, it's a great festival. You know, it's nice that Hamilton can kind of shut her down as far as the downtown core and put like something together like this that's you know not exactly a small scale event yeah. uh and get the curfews to go past 11 p.m which you cannot do in toronto that's for sure <laughs> and i bet you our decibel limit will probably be more than 95 which is impossible to get in toronto as well we so. have so many uh, earplugs here because the de <laughs> we expect high decibels it's going to be loud yeah it's but, gonna it, be loud. but you know there have studies have been done uh by my hearing doctor dr marshall chasen if there's a certain amount of volume but it's pleasurable it will potentially cause less damage. He wrote a paper about it. It's not a terribly exciting paper, but that's the <laughs> I, that's the summation. We're right going to be there. entertained and educated yeah, here all on the same day. I did something. not come up with that theory, but uh, you it know works. what? It works. We'll go with it. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll, we'll go with it. Yeah. Talk to us about your music. What, what got you into music as a youngster? Who did you follow? Who inspired you? Uh, I mean, I grew up a long time ago. Uh, Fair enough. So we I'm, did too, by the way. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I grew up like a transistor radio kid, uh, AM radio kid, yeah. and lots of disco music and Stevie Wonder and the okay. Bee Gees and that kind of thing. Did and you ever you take a tape recorder and record your favorite songs? Oh off yeah, of the course. Radio? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know that was next when my parents allowed me to get a little boogie box. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, and then throughout life you get into heavy metal and then it's like oh you get tired of that then you're into new wave then you're into industrial then like skate punk and then punk and alternative music or yeah hip-hop and you know music and just now whatever they whatever. call what you do i've heard the term baroque pop baroque pop. what is, well, what is, what is baroque pop? i don't know and you know they'll put a label on everything and anything they whoever they are so yeah if you want to call us baroque pop i mean sure you can call us whatever you want. And uh, we're not really that concerned as to how we're being labeled. A lot we're of cover music, a lot of cover music, your own music, little mix. Nah, it's it's we're an original rock and roll. All band. original. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, might do a junk house song. Okay. A little Hamilton homage. Very good. We we had Val, we talked about it off the top. We had a two year hiatus. Yeah. What did that hiatus do for you? Uh, did it help you be me, more creative? Did it me help to the brink of insanity, <laughs> like a lot of people, of us, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I got, you know, got a little bit of music 
done but a lot of the time it's just sort of thinking oh well this is the end and what use do i have in this world so you do a oh. bit of volunteer work yep. hand out some gatorades to some people and living in tents try to occupy your time that way go for a lot of dog walks go for a lot of dog <laughs> walks right. yeah brennan can uh, we just get you to move your mic a little closer to oh you, please? yeah that'd be great yeah yeah uh there you go. When, when you start to prepare for an event tonight, when are you playing? Are you playing We're tonight? We're playing, yeah, 1045. You're playing evening. 1045 yeah. tonight, so come on down. Make sure you yeah. check out Brendan and his dog. We got stuff falling around oh, us and everything, but that's okay. That? Oh, chairs down. Live, chairs live, down. Live TV. You got to love TV. it. Live TV. How do you prepare yourself for a night like this? Because uh, it's going to be packed down here. Oh, yeah. Uh, make sure you have a, a good meal, have a good shot of espresso, maybe see what sort of elixirs or circulating backstage and uh you know like we always do like get on stage make sure you're leaving it all on stage and we we're gonna be able to dance right we'll dance to your music so. and have yeah, some fun come on why the wouldn't people you? in your band are from all other kinds of different bands and you come together for your performances here at something Super like that make something like that yeah do you practice a lot uh, eh. enough <laughs> enough <That's>, yeah <laughs> do, do the practice sessions do they really showcase what we're going to see live or the practice session sometimes maybe a little more fun uh <laughs> okay well <laughs> i mean rehearse i mean what like sound check is that what you're referring sound to earlier checking jamming whatever i mean yeah it's some it's like when you go to when you go to work yeah, some okay. days are great maybe not all days are great some days you're on set and you have chairs falling behind right. you right so there What's you go. Like, what the hell is up with that favorite song that you played you know uh, you ever told you Herb, uh, you know, we do a little song called Stay Happy, right. and that's uh, that's Herbie's mantra in life. I know, so. I know we got to start wrapping up soon, but before we do, yeah. are, are, you, are you a singer? Do you play the bass, drums, uh, a little bit of everything? I'm going to do a little bit of singing. Okay. I'll do a little bit of bass playing. I'll do a little bit of guitar playing, and I'll do a little bit of playing the keys, too. Jack wait, of wait. all trades. Uh, yeah, trying, love trying. Got to love it. You, we'll let you save your voice for tonight's big show. Oh, yeah, shoot. this has been just enduring. Brendan Canning from Broken yeah. Social Scene, thank you so much. Thank you for having me on, is this CHCH? This is Cable 14, cable your community four channel. You knew that. Okay, okay. You see the big 14 right, on the mic you mean right there? there where it says Cable 14? We'll be right back. I'll we take gotta, it. We're going to take a short thank break. Brendan, you, take Herbie. care, man. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to James Street, right here for Super Crawl 2023. The streets have been closed off for quite a while now. Cars are all aside. We got everything lined up, set, ready to go. And almost, been doing Val. The sound checks too which the were amazing. They, they were great sound checks, which is only a sign for a real rocking night tonight. I say we go to the the brains, the mindset, Mr. Tim Potasek himself, in regards to uh, this big event that you've put on for the 15th year. Yeah. Time flies. Tim, when you look back over the 15 years of putting on this amazing event, we had two years of COVID, what sticks out to you the most? Uh, well, I think like the support we get from the community, you know, the perse perseverance of continuing to do something like this. It, it is a lot of work. It's a year round job, you know, to keep this flowing, r the grants that we write, the money that we have to raise to keep it, you know, keep it on the rails. Um, and just all the work that goes behind the scenes on the logistics of which I'm not even party to anymore. We have I have a whole team that handle all the logistics. How of many people sure. work on this behind the scenes? Well, I mean, you know, all year long, there's like a team of about a team of 10. That's mm -hmm. like basically like working on certain things. But we ramp up a lot when we get to the festival. We have a big group of people that start like in the summer and then work through to the festival uh, some full-time some part-time so and then we ramp up obviously there's a couple hundred people working here this weekend every day L let's briefly you mentioned funding and all that I want to talk about the elephant in the room it was a few weeks ago it was announced that three hundred thousand dollars was going to be cut from super crawl we talked a little bit beforehand it's now down to 140 which is great news how have you been able to overcome that obstacle for this year and how do you start to plan moving forward well i mean you know we rushed around so there was we got funding cuts from a couple layers of government that 
you know, we weren't expecting to mm -hmm. get lower than we had received the year prior. We always budget a little lower, but we're in a situation where, you know, it's it's not so much the fact that we weren't funded at the same level. It's more the fact that, you know, we're finding out about these these funding models, uh, you know, two, three weeks before the festival. And there's others that have it way worse than us in Ontario that have yeah. found out after their festivals. Then yeah. they found they got cut. So they're really putting all the festival business, you know, that apply for these grants in jeopardy, to be honest, in Ontario, yeah. not just us. It's yeah. really challenging. Uh, we've run around to ask a lot of people that have already given us money to, if they could bump up, found a few more fest uh, uh, sponsors in the community mm -hmm. um, and found some other people. The tourism office really stepped up, Halt, Hamilton, Halton, Brand. Uh, to contribute money to the festival to help us but you know we are still hundred and forty thousand short from where we had budgeted ourselves so we how just have to persevere through it and figure how can out we as party goers how can we as as super crawl uh, enjoyers help in this situation um, I mean you know uh, because it's free there's not really a way it's just free for the public I mean when people come to our beer gardens uh, we don't promote people to get drunk but maybe have an extra beer <laughs> it would definitely help you know like uh, the bottom line of like just sort of keeping the cash flow going for the festival uh, we've already made plans to figure out how we're gonna get through it and work into the future years so we have that ability to do that and that's that's what we're gonna do I'm not surprised to hear that coming from you that you already have plans in place and, and everything should be fine for next year Tell us what we can expect this year. Is, is it a bigger festival this year? Did you open up another block or two? No, no, no okay. same same footprint. Um, we were debating if we were going to do some other, you know, uh, blocks. Okay. Uh, I'll have to say is maybe lucky we decided to keep it the same footprint. <laughs> Every time you open up another block, you've got to program it, you've got to animate it, and you've got to do something that costs money. So uh, we're quite pleased with, like, the footprint that we have. Um, and, yeah, I think we have an inc incredible lineup, as Let's good as we've ever had. So today's Friday. What's coming yeah. up tonight? Well, we have uh, mostly rock uh, at mm -hmm. both stages. We always like to start with, a, you know, a rock night if we can. So uh, Broken Social Scene headlining our main stage, and Boy Golden is direct support has that number one song in Canada right now and he's yep. super fun and great the band's awesome and then on the other uh, side of this uh, other book ended side or our other stages we have uh, the Flatliners and a bunch of like sort of harder punk rock kind of bands supporting them as well so uh, something for everybody and then hundreds of vendors in between yeah and, and not only the hundreds of vendors in between, the economic spin-off from this to the local establishments, the local little shops, uh, little bars along here, King William, all the restaurants, it, it's going to be quite the spin-off, isn't it? Absolutely. Like, everybody's packed, which is great. Yeah. Uh, we obviously want all the shops to do as much business as they possibly can. Our vendors always do tremendous br uh, business at Super Crawl. It's just rammed. People come hungry, you know, not yeah. just for food, but for, you know, buying things from vendors. We curate at a very high level. You know, we have a team of people uh, that look at, are looking through all of the vendor applications that come in, and it's hundreds and hundreds, and we can only we can only pick 150 <laughs> to be here. So, you know, there's definitely a lot that are deserving to be at Supercrawl, but we of can't course. we can't get it, everybody to fit. Is it like that with the music uh, and the art as well? Are people coming to you begging to get in? Some, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say begging necessarily. People are very eager to want to play the festival and. Um, you know, we do our best to like, you know, mix in as many different bands as we possibly can from the local community. Um, and, you know, we work with the other festivals in town too. So when Festival of Friends is booking certain bands, we don't. And when we're booking them, they yeah. don't. Same with Burlington. So we're all kind of talking, you know, because we're all in the same local community. Nice to have that funnel that you can always kind of go to in, in, in upcoming years. Uh, yeah. The music, of course, is kind of what showcases everything here. But you talked about the vendors, but there's also the, the, the public art and mm -hmm. the artists. I know there's a, little, there's a free section where uh, up-and-coming artists, if they want to do some prints or something. Talk to us about that side of it in, in regards to people being able to showcase their talents. Yeah. Aside from music. Yeah, absolutely. We have a whole art zone, and that's curated, but we have a curatorial team that uh, creates a vibe and like picks certain things that are going to fit, fit within that vibe. Um, we bring artists from all over the place. We have a New York artist that's uh, producing a massive palm tree exhibit on uh, boom lifts. Cool. So that'll be visible actually from coast to coast. You know, If you're at one <laughs> end of the street, you'll be able to see it all the way because uh, it's going to be lifted above the buildings about 80 feet, like wow. in the middle of the inner section uh, in the middle of the festival um, and then we have a whole pile of local artists that are doing different things uh, building in art 
installations. We have two new murals that will be on the street for the year. Um, and just lots of interesting things, lots of artists that are contributing to what is happening and the vibe of what's happening at Supergirl. Right now it's what, 420 something? Give or take, yeah, take. We're, we're, yeah. we're almost still. Uh, yep. Pretty easy for parking right now, you know, yep. parked a couple of blocks away. But tonight, what do you suggest? Well, my go-to is if you're on the west, stay on the west. If you're on the east, stay on the east. So don't cross James Street. Try to find parking on the east of James if you're from there, and the west if you're from the other side of town. Or just um, take our wonderful transportation, absolutely. HSR. Hop yeah. on the bus, come on down. Right? Totally. Like uh, you're taking HSR, you can drive a Sobe, you can you can take one of the new scooters. Although you can't scooter in the festival. No. We, we've no. geofenced it. It's too yep. dangerous. We no, don't and want I, those I get that. Careening around the festival. So, um, yeah, and you can take Go if you're from Toronto, Mississauga, Oakville, Burlington, St. Catharines. You can Go train right to the bottom of the festival yep. and literally walk up the tracks, and you're going to hit a stage. And Tim, I know last year we had the festival. Yet we were still under some restrictions, somewhat. This year, it's it's wide open again. And I hope when people come down, I don't know if you ever get this chance, just to kind of walk and look around and take it all in because it truly is remarkable to think what you and your team have accomplished. Like, Have you ever taken that into consideration, thought about that? I try to spend some time doing that. Some yeah. years I've had the ability to do it, and others I've, it's just a blur and it's over, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I missed all the things I wanted to see. Yeah. Um, I try to make a, an effort, but even making an effort, you never know what might hap might come up at that particular time and you get pulled in different directions. Uh, but people, yeah, should really take it in. I mean, it is fantastic people watching. Is people like, watching yeah. oh. because <laughs> everybody from Every walk of life is all mingling yeah. together and enjoying the same festival together. And if yeah. Hamilton is known for anything, it's community. It's supporting our own, and you bring them all together. You bring some outside bands and artists in, but it, this is this is what Hamilton is all about. Yeah, it's the beauty of what we do. It's free, right? So there's no admittance. You know, yeah. you don't have to pay a ticket. What's so the website? Uh, supercrawl.ca. Tim, thank you so much for being here and filling us in. And we're You're going to be welcome. checking in with one of the other bands uh, in just a minute, uh, the folks from Born in the 80s. That'll Amazing. Be fun. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. Thanks a lot, man. Hard to believe how this half hour is just whizzing by. How would you like to be Tim Potisic right now? Like the jitters and the nerves inside, right? Like just making sure everything goes smoothly. It would be like the, a wedding for 20,000 people. <laughs> well, yeah, and you, you can't even stop to, to take a moment to have a bite to eat no. because you're just so engaged in whatever's going on. And you know what? 20,000 is a small number. They're going to get 100 to 200,000 over the weekend. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's a crazy number. Are those numbers ner uh, nerve wracking to you? James Nealon, <laughs> born in the 80s is the name of your band. Yeah. Um, well, I don't think all of them will be in front of us at any point they in time. Might, yeah, <laughs> some of them will be, sections of them will be. Yeah, and uh, no, that's that's great. We did this same thing last year, and it was a blast. So yeah, no, we're we're, we're excited. Yeah, it's, it's fun. 80s band. You got the electric diner right behind us. Exactly. An 80s restaurant. You yeah, know, yeah. go have a have a pint or something afterwards. Um, what got you into the, the the music world? Who was kind of an inspiration for you? We've been asking a few guests this. Oh wow, uh, man, that's that's tough. Um, I uh, my, my my parents brought me up on the Beatles and Zeppelin. So uh, I, I, that, that literally born in the 80s? I was, yes, yeah. All, all three of us were, all three he, of my bandmates. So mates. Madonna was big for you probably. Oh, absolutely. He's just a pup. He's just I a know. pup. Born yeah. in the 80s, like, you know. Madonna. Oh, Co absolutely. Little Love Corey Madonna. Hart, sunglasses. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Corey Hart, that's great. Yeah, yeah, no, the the, the, the stuff that inspires the band that uh, that, that that we have now is it's all, all sorts of new wave and 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 80s pop is it is definitely big but like we we kind of do stuff that is relevant to people that that are born in the 80s so we we, we we're creeping forward as everyone ages with us as my daughter would say you're always playing dead people's music <laughs> yeah. oh. you're moving forward now yep, and yep. <laughs> yeah we're trying to keep up trying a little bit ahead of that curve oh, there yeah, you yeah. Go. okay Good for you. so you're mostly cover songs right yep yep <laughs> Do you find that there are some songs that really resonate with the crowd? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. No, there's 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 a ton of songs that really resonate with with the crowd. We uh, a, a 
any of our new order covers are, are really popular. People usually they're very dancey, so people enjoy that. Uh, we just recently started playing uh, the song "Tub Thumping" by Chumbawamba. Yeah. Chumbawamba, and people sure. love that song. <laughs> yeah, we didn't think it was. We honestly kind of did it as a, as a lark, and and people really really love it. <laughs> it's, it starts to bring back so many childhood memories, or teenage memories, I guess, yeah, yeah. for us. That song, early 20s. I think I was well halfway into my career. Okay, that. well, there you go. There you go. Maybe Man, I'm a little I'm younger than you are. When that song came out. Yeah, aren't we all? You, but you, how long does it take you to nail a song? Sorry, Mike. No, sorry. Um, uh, we, well, we, we we don't actually rehearse a ton necessarily. We kind of just learn it as we go. So we uh, will we'll play a song like maybe... 10 times in rehearsal and then we just stage test it and that's always the, the always the fastest way. We came up actually playing at Gallagher's at RIP Gallagher's on uh, on Augusta Street in Hamilton and uh, and we used to play there every Tuesday and that's where that's how we got most of our catalog was just playing every Tuesday. Do you take requests? Pardon? Would you take any requests? Uh, we we try to take requests when we can, but we actually don't have a drummer. We have a program drum machine, so okay. if we don't have it, we probably can't do it. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. A little acoustic from time to time. Yeah, we, yeah, we got some acoustic there every once in a while, but we do stay more to like dancey, like pop, like fun, upbeat party and, songs. And, and I'm gonna have to say, and, and please don't take this the wrong way, but yeah. you don't fit that profile. <laughs> I don't think of no. club hop and dancey no, kind no. of music. Like, that's that's the fun of it. That really is. Like yeah, th yeah. throw a cowboy hat on, hat on you, and you're Garth Brooks. I would <laughs> yeah, think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I always I, I always like throwing curveballs. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Yep. When are you playing this weekend? Uh, we are playing on Friday and Saturday night in the beer garden. Um, all the sets are around eight. 10 and uh, midnight yeah. so yeah yeah Good this stuff. is early morning for you then oh yeah no exactly <laughs> I, I, i'm barely out of bed hey man <laughs> have an absolute blast enjoy it looking forward to hearing you and uh also looking forward to seeing you around the city throughout uh over the fall and winter as well yeah man. yeah thank you so much i appreciate you guys having me on James Good stuff. Mailin, born yep. in the 80s born in the 80s uh i was born in the 70s uh we won't talk about when val was sorry, ow, ow, we won't talk about when val was born um well that's going to wrap up this half hour uh super crawl is officially underway i know it's exciting what's the first food truck you go to uh, oh, it's either sweet or savory. Like, what do you do? Um, it's uh, probably time for a hot dog or, or a chicken wing or something like that. Hot dogs or chicken wings when you got all this amazing stuff here? you got to take a walk. Uh, we'll I have to take a walk afterwards and show pierogi. you. Pierogi. I'll do some pierogi. Do some pierogies. Of course, you can go down to King William as well. Uh, go to the website for anything uh, that you might need to know about Super Crawl 2023 down here on James Street, right across from the Listerbrock. Main stage is here. It is going to be... It's going to be epic this year, I think. What'd you say, 200,000 people? I Holy think I've cow. heard those numbers. We should have asked Tim that. I think over the past, there's 100 to 200,000 people that kind of show up to this over three days. Really, really strongly encourage you not to park down here. Don't drive if it's going to be that crowded. Sure, try to park a few blocks away if you can. Enjoy the walk. I think yep. we're in for some really good weather, yes. I think. So uh, yeah, uh, don't drive. <laughs> Come on down here safely. And when you're down here, have fun, enjoy it. Spend a few bucks, help some of the artists out. What Creativity takes courage. Oh, yeah. Creativity. Yeah. All of these artists, uh, a lot of them, uh, you know, working their way up, right? Trying to make a name for themselves. They're, 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 they're showing a very vulnerable side of them because a lot of their art, whether it be music, acting, fashion, on stage, it's it's an expression of who they are. So yeah, come on out. It does take a lot of courage to be an artist. It does. It does. You're an artist. Uh, am I? Yeah, sure. You got a lot. You're, you're sure you are. You're okay. an artist of television. Okay. A creative, perhaps, sure. Um, but I do appreciate uh, that they're putting it all out there because some people don't like it. Uh, but you're going to love Super Crawl. We'll see you here. Take care, Hamilton. Thanks, Mike.